Hello, my name is Fox and you're watching Dead of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 29 of 2024, we had 151 tournaments, with a total of 2,988 players and 12,101 games played. First of all, our apologies for the delay in getting the video to you. We've been a little unwell this week. Having said that, we do have a lot of tournaments this week, including some big ones like the Lone Star Open and the Tacoma Open. This is also the first month of data since the last update, which will give us a good indication of which matches are doing well. With that said, this week the Space Wings topped the charts with 23 wins and 73 top 3 placings. Their weighted space of 23.3 is exactly the same as last week. They certainly seem to have settled on a weighted placing in the 20s. The Sisters come next with 14 wins, 29 top 3s and a weighted place of 10.9, which is the best overall. They have a very good week this time around, however, all by one of their wins did come from the smaller tournaments. This is still a big improvement on the weighted place of 25.3 they got last time. The Tyrannus come next with 11 wins, 29 top 3s and a weighted place of 16.2, which is a good improvement on the 6 wins and weighted place of 29.7 they got last week. Guard also get 11 wins, with 26 top 3s and a weighted place of 13.7, which is the 3rd best overall. This is actually very similar to last time, with one more win, giving them a slightly better weighted place in. It looks like Guard are doing quite well at the moment. Tower the final faction on 11 wins, with 25 top 3s and a weighted place of 13.8. This is a good result for them, narrowly missing out on the third best weighted place in. Chaos Demons have 8 wins and a weighted place of 16.5, which is a lot better than the 66 they got last time. The Necrons get a very similar result with 7 wins, 27 top 3s and a weighted place of 26.9. The Orcs are the last faction in blue, also getting 7 wins with 18 top 3s and a weighted place of 22. They did win the biggest tournament this week, GW's US Open Tacoma, a 438 player event. The leagues with Votan top the green group with 6 wins, 15 top 3s and a weight place of 11.5, the second best overall. They did fail to win any of the larger tournaments, but this is still a good result for them. Chaos Space Marines come next on 5 wins, with 23 top 3s and a weight space of 34. Their weighted place is high as they have a large number of players, but this is a good result and they did win the Lone Star Open, a 223 player event. We have 5 factions on 5 wins with the Death Guard and Thousand Sons both getting 17 top 3 placings. They have weighted places 22.6 and 22.2 respectively. The World Eats are close behind with one less top 3 and a slightly higher weighted place of 23.6. The Custodies get 15 top 3s and a weighted place of 24.2, with the Grey Knights getting 14 top 3s and a weighted place of 24. The final 4 factors in green all get 4 wins, again being ranked by the number of top 3 placings. Aldari have 16 and a weighted place of 27.5, while Imperial Knights have 15 and a weighted place of 24.8. Admet get 14 top 3s and a weighted place of 15.3. Their weighted placing is quite low as they have a relatively small player base. Finally, the Jukari have 11 top 3s and a weighted place of 23.3. Chaos Knights are the only faction in yellow, with 3 wins and a high weighted place of 31.7. The Gene Sealers are the only faction in red, unfortunately missing out on a win. They really are struggling since the release of their 10th edition codex. 22 factions managed at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s with 235. The Tyranids are in 2nd with 90 top 10 placings, with Tau in 3rd on 88 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 17.8% of all players taking them. Chaos Space Marines are the 2nd most popular on 6.76%, Necrons are in 3rd on 6.02%. Tyranids and Tau do well on the top 10s, beating out the more popular factions to 2nd and 3rd place. It takes our resident stats guru and ultramarine fanboy Phyllis Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video, it really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour with the key at the bottom of the screen. This week the Thousand Suns again top the win rate with an impressive 57%. They're not as popular as some of the other factions, but they are doing very well since the last balance update with their second week at the top. The Jukari managed to get second with a win rate of 55.6%, which is a fair bit better than the 49.2% they got last time. The Sisters are just above the Gold Deluxe Zone, with a win rate of 55.2%, which is a slight increase on last time. Chaos Demons are the first faction within the Gold Deluxe Zone, with a win rate of 53.7%, which is a big improvement on the 47% they got last week. The Imperial Knights get a win rate of 53.1%, which is nearly identical to last week, and far above their traitorous counterparts. Admech and World Eaters come next, both with a 51.2% win rate. I'm sure Radbeck players will be pleased to see the faction putting in some good win rates after a very long time near the bottom of the pack. The Tower, the last faction in green, 
with a win rate of 50.7%. Tyrion is in Death Guard, top of the other group, with a win rate of 49.9%. The Necrons are close behind on a win rate of 49.7%. The Grey Knights are on a win rate of 48.9%. The Leaves of Votan on 48%. I would expect the Votan to be a bit higher, considering they got the second best weighted placer this week. Guard have a win rate of 47.9%, with the Space Marines overall on a win rate of 46.6%. The Orcs run a win rate of 46.5%, with Chaos Knights on 45.7%. Aldari run a win rate of 45.4%, with Chaos Space Marines just within the zone on 45.1%. There are only two factions below this week, with the Custodians getting a win rate of 44.7%, which is surprisingly low for them. The Gene Seeders are at the bottom, still struggling with a win rate of 42.8%. With the first month of data, we now have a good indication of who is strong after the changes. As it is the first month, the 4 week rolling win rate and the running total win rate are the same this time out. The Thousand Sons are at the top, and are the only faction above the Gothelux zone, with a win rate of 55.9%. Drukari are in 2nd place on 53.8%, with Imperial Knights in 3rd on 52.8%. Sisters are on a win rate of 52.7%, despite doing very well in terms of placings. The World Eaters are on a win rate of 51.5%, with Chaos Demons on 50.5%. Tower on a 50.4%, with the Grey Knights just getting in green on a win rate of 50.2%. After the first month, the majority of factions are in yellow, with only Chaos Space Marines below the Goldilocks zone on a win rate of 43.8%. Overall, the game does look reasonably well balanced, although there are some clear front runners on the win rate. Chaos Space Marines winning the Lone Star Open this week is a good sign for the meta, showing that even one of the weaker factions can win big in the hands of a very talented player. I am sure this will change over the coming weeks, with more codexes on the way. The Imperial Agents Codex could provide a big shake-up, as it could be allied to all Imperium armies, as well as being an army in their own right. This week, the Blood Angels topped the charts with a win rate of 54.9%, which puts them just in the Gothelog zone. The Black Templars are in second on 50%, the Space Wolves are the last chapter in the Gothelog zone, with a win rate of 48.9%. The Space Wolves have dropped back significantly, from the win rate well over 50% they were getting in the first two weeks after the update. The Dark Angels are still struggling on a win rate of 43.9%, with the Unknown Chapters on 40.5%. The Death Watch are on a win rate of 37.3%, and as we know, they will be incorporated into the Imperial Agents Codex when it arrives. This might make it a bit difficult to track, but we'll still track the Death Watch under the assumption it is a Space Marine army with Death Watch added in from the Codex. I'm sure Death Watch players are not too happy with their supplement essentially being removed, but it will allow you to use them with any Imperial army if you collect more than one. Finally, the single ultra player won a quarter of their games. The Blood Angels are clearly in front after the first month of data, with a win rate of 53.7%. Thanks to the first two weeks, the Space Wolves remain in second place, with a win rate of 51.7%. The Black Templars are the last chapter in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 49%. The Dark Angels are a little bit behind on 44.2%, with the Death Watch on 41.4%. The Unknown Chapters being on 39.8%, sums up the position for Codex Space Marines, which is struggling a bit overall. In the first month of data overall, Chaos Space Marines run a win rate of 44%, with a very limited number of people playing Index Emperor's Children on a win rate of 38.5%. I'm sure they will see some changes when the next come around, as arguably the weakest army at the moment, despite getting some good tournament wins in the first month since the balance update. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.